Okay, so Emmet include languages. And this setting enables Emmet abbreviations in languages that are not supported by the fault. Just the abbreviations, right? Not the, the snippet expansions. Um, so you add include languages by adding a mapping between the language and Emmet supported and an Emmet supported language. So you have a, a, a clear explanation here. Um, and what you need to do is you need to make sure to use language IDs for both sides of the mapping, right? So both sides of the mapping need to be a language ID. And you can find language, uh, language IDs if you press this little button here and you have them all in um, parentheses, right? You have all the languages that VS Code supports and the IDs are in parentheses. Now, it's not very clear from the documentation uh, which language IDs are enabled by the fault or supported by the fault in Emmet. Um, however, you can get a hint for that because it says that Emmet abbreviation and snippet expansions are enabled by the fault in these files, right? So, I mean, if you know a little bit about front-end web development or web development in general, you know that JSX is actually JavaScript React, um, you know, HTML is HTML. Um, so the mapping is not super clear, but you can kind of get a sense for uh, which in which languages Emmet is enabled by default, and you can expand that into other languages by using um, Emmet in this this uh, Emmet include languages setting.